What's going on everybody? Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. So um if I'm being honest, uh I'm I'm uh, a little nervous about today's video. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. Let me just let me just ask you guys this. Have you ever met somebody, right, who was so infatuated with something that they just cut you off? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's crazy, right? Well, this woman who we're about to watch, um, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I think she cut her fiance off to be with a puppet. You know, like the, the what are they called? The ventriloquists who just like use the puppet to talk, but then they're not talking over her fiance, like a, a, a future. Right, so I've been gone majority of the summer, so it's been about two months, and with all that time, I took to think about, you know, why people do the things that they do. And now that I'm back, Still don't have an answer, that's nuts. But yeah, so this is a My Strange Addictions video, you know, a classic. But again, this woman chooses puppets over her fiance. I'm a little nervous on how that actually turns out because if this is genuine, if she genuinely dropped him over something that don't move, she might go to jail. We don't know how it might turn out. Before I get started though, as always, if you guys aren't following any of my social media that isn't YouTube, you can always feel free to do that. And also, if this video by chance makes you happy, she you smile, makes you giggle. I don't know, you can even be upset. I just, you know, everyone has those days. Then of course, feel free to drop a like on the video, leave a comment, you know, the usual. So without further ado, um, how can I say this? We're back on our bulls. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope, 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 nope. April spends 80 hours a week working on puppets? That's more than a full-time gig. And you're sticking your hand up something to, to play with oh, for eight. Ooh, child. She always has the doll with her. It's just ridiculous. It would be nice to spend time with just April and have her leave the doll at home. Which of your babies in the suitcase now? As a matter of fact, May, she's uh, wanted to say hi. Like, hello, how have you been? Uh-uh. That puppet looks exactly like her. Like, that is her sister. That is her doppelganger. That is her cousin. And the way she just moves her fingers inside her body just makes me quiver with fear. Who's doing that? And I'm already let you guys know right now, I already feel bad for this sister because if she is really leaving the house every day with a suitcase, no, she's not going to Cabo. She's going straight to the park to play with a puppet and not even talk to her family. Concerning. Uh, I've, I've been good. May thinks that my sister is intimidated by her looks. I just think she feels that she's being replaced and that's really hard for her. Put your hand in my mouth, come on. I don't, I don't know if I want to. Put your hand in my mouth. Want to. Does she not see how nervous her sister looks right here? She mentioned how she was intimidated by her looks. Are we talking about the puppet's looks? Because again, it ain't, it's not gonna move. You can pluck out an eyelash, no reaction, no emotion, no nothing. So if you're saying it's prettier than a human, I'm not gonna lie though, they threw a whole wig on the top. On the top of its head. Why? Oh, do it, do it, do it. How does that work with dating? Like, because you have your puppets with you all the time. Like, if you take them on your first date, you're not Gargoyle Walter, so just like shut it. Like, do you? May, you can't talk like that to my sister. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie. That's a bit um crazy that's a little crazy because this is her sister sitting directly next to her and in between is just the most foul smelling puppet because you know it probably stinks what, what do you do wash it in the in the uh the uh mm, what is wow the washing machine does she wash it in the washing machine does she like hang it up to dry i'm sure the hair might get messed up but the way she is talking to her sister through this puppet it might have a mind of its own we don't know that's scary can i talk to you not the puppet <laughs> i'm sorry she's just having a day i worry about april in relationships because to you know whip out a puppet and it seems like i've moderately awkward dynamic. I understand, I understand, I understand. You know, you wanna be real with your sister and really just, you know, get to know her life and really know your sister and then <laughs> puppet, just smack in the middle. I'm not even gonna talk to you, I'm just gonna talk to a puppet. You can't believe a word that come out of her mouth. Who's gonna, who's gonna commit to that? Well, dang, considering she threw 80 hours in. <laughs> Hopefully somebody paid her. Maybe things would be easier if you, you know, didn't have to always carry around like a heavy puppet. You know, if like, no, 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 no. Seriously, bye. No, I'm just trying to be a good sister. Like I want no, to be No, no, apologize to me. <laughs> this is not real. 
So she got up and left that fast because her sister's upset she won't talk to her, but instead the puppet. You see where the craziness comes in? Like, you know, I, I really want all of you watching this to just sit there and think for a quick second. Imagine if you were trying to talk to somebody, you really cared for them, and you just wanna, you know, have a chat, and some somebody's holding a sock to your face, and it's like, like, obviously, I'm sure you don't want to answer to the sock. But imagine that they get mad at you because, I don't know, you're upset because you're talking to a sock and not the person. And then just storms off. That's a pretty first grade move. I would just change my birth certificate. That's clearly not my sister. You know, I worry as a mom. I worry about her not having health insurance. And I worry about her having enough money and not taking care of herself. <laughs> I worry like 24 hours a day. You know, I'm just gonna stop you right there, and as a mother, you are doing an excellent job, an egg salad job. You know, I kinda worry too, is she bathing? Is she eating the proper nutrients? Because of all the care in the world is going towards, uh, um, <clears throat> again, inanimate, inanimate object. We're not even talking about a dog or a cat. You could toss the puppet on a table, it won't move. And so for someone to dedicate their time and life, will it be considered a lifestyle? I don't know, but it's for a puppet. If it's a hobby, have it be a hobby, but there should easily be a moment in which you turn it off, leave it at the house, and then live your life. You, you know what I mean? Like, even if this was like a career, I don't know, they haven't really explained that yet, but you know, I don't know, maybe what she wanted to do stand up or something, and this is her excuse of practice. We don't know, it don't move. Oh, that's creepy. I'm gonna take my mom to a theater where she's gonna see me rehearse. May, I'm so glad that you're standing next to me. Did I look skinnier already? Well, May, you can go to hell. Sorry, we're gonna sit in your audience. Oh! Do you like the flow of those, Mom? Pretty good, pretty good. She lying, she lying out of her ass. I can kind of tell, too, that May really, she kind of lacks that confidence factor, especially in this type of department. You're standing on stage with a puppet, and so if you're gonna be like a ventriloquist, shouldn't you have more of like that like conversation ready to go? You know what I mean? I don't, like, yeah, they're practicing, but the, 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 the practicing didn't look good. Let's be honest, sold it, it was ass. But of course, obviously, like she's being a supportive mother, like I get it, I would want my mom to support me and show up to like a gig if I was doing stand up or something. But deep down inside in that mother's heart, I know she feeling something, she feeling some type of way, she feels icky. <laughs> wow. I want for my daughter what every mother wants. I want her to have 2.5 kids and a good husband. You know, I want her to have that full life. Have you thought about Spending less time with the puppet. What's Mom, I thought we discussed this. You weren't going to ambush me on this visit. At some point in time, I'm thinking you might be tired of this. I'm never going to get tired of my puppets, Mom. We understand. Leave one of them at the house. You don't have to take it with you everywhere you go. Damn. I don't even think anybody's really caught up on the fact that she does this. Like, you know, plays with the puppets or, you know, does stand up or whatever it is she really wants to do. But to carry it out day in and day out. My goodness, we're watching something called My Strange Addiction. She's addicted to it, clearly. It's crazy how, like, some people can really become this infatuated with something and then just everything else in your life does not matter. Again, is she bathing over a puppet? Is she putting the pup? Is she uh, bathing the puppet? Wow, look at me, I'm aging fast. When mom brings up spending less time with the puppets, I feel like it's her way of saying, you're not the daughter I wanted. I'm very proud of you, I want you to know that. I'm, I'm, you're an amazing person. Stop crying, it's gonna mess up your eye makeup, and it's gonna mess uh, up mine too. I keep saying, where is plan B? And she says, there is no plan B, mom. It's a little upsetting. That is kind of sad, wow, that, What am I doing? <laughs> I mean, I get it. Like, I understand. I don't understand. I don't, you guys. I'm, I'm just gonna let you know, I don't understand. May said that she feels as though the mother is saying like, you know, what, she's not good enough? Or, you know, she's less than, or. But then the mom turns around and says the exact opposite. Like, I don't think that's what she said. I still kind of feel the support coming from the mom. I do, like, I see it. She just doesn't want you to carry the puppet around 24 hours a day. I mean, my goodness, is there a break in between? If I'm eating lunch, Take that hairy ass mole rat away from me. I don't want it. And so I, just, I, I don't think she's understanding that really. Like, look, it's a whole bunch of puppets humping each other in the little. <laughs> It's gross. People have been saying that I'm spending too much time with the puppets. I'm walking through the park. 
I think it would be kind of a good idea to have someone look at all of you and make some recommendations. Maybe I'll see, you know, therapist. And if I am becoming like that creepy ventriloquist woman, I don't want that either. <laughs> I'm so confused as to why she just said that because that's exactly what's happening. You're becoming that creepy ventriloquist woman. You don't have to sit at a park and perform. Are you getting paid to do it? Hmm? You're not. It's okay. It happens. But then also there's a time and a place for everything. And clearly family time is not time for puppy time because we don't care to see it. I'm trying to see my, my sister, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to play with no toys. April's going to see a therapist today, and I'm kind of curious to see what they have to say, seeing that April takes me everywhere she goes. I mean, granted, April is a little crazy. I know that because I live with her. Oh, I hope I didn't confuse this. So the real girl is named April, but the puppet's name is May? Hold on. Look at me not paying attention. Wow, it's very creative. My gosh. So how much time would you say you spent with them? Spent a lot of time with them. I take them out in public with me. We sit in Times Square. People take photos with us. I'm bringing these guys to. That little girl is not sleeping tonight. She ain't she have to do that. That little girl is not going to sleep. She saw something move that ain't supposed to. It don't got a soul. You scarred her and didn't even know it. We gonna pray for her. We gonna, we gonna pray for uh, the, the girl and the puppet and everybody on the show. Guys too places to perform. I actually make my living singing telegrams, uh -huh. but I might get fired if I bring that uh -huh. to the Ooh! <laughs> that one right there don't even got her pants on. Is that TV appropriate? <laughs> so you seem very attached to them. Uh, yeah. This is Mae Wilson. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Hi, Mae. I'm here today because April is crazy. I'm with her because I feel bad for her. I'm convinced she bored because there's no way you go to the therapist, put on the puppet, and then are talking about how you really feel. Why does it always have to be through the puppet? Is she scared to do it on her own? Because it's just confusing as to like, bro, that's crazy. Like every, every time she sticks her hand in the puppet, the real stuff comes out. But then if you talk to April by herself, it's just like, no, I don't need help. No, I don't need it. I love my pups. I love my puppets. Love a bar of soap. <laughs> so she, May, looks a lot like you, I notice. Yeah, uh, she's sort of the bad girl of the group. Mm -hmm. Can we put May away and just talk between the two of us? Okay, bye, May. Nice bye. to meet you, May. Did May just say bye even though she was getting put away? Okay, bye, May. Nice bye. to meet you. You know, to be honest, I don't really think that's a nice life to live you know, being a puppet. You know, someone just uses and abuses you all day and then crunch your ass in a suitcase and then you just sit and wait. That is sad. That is a sad life to live as a puppet. You could possibly explore why um, you have this behavior. Yeah, I just, you know, cause I don't think I'm divorced from reality, but I just want to make sure that's not the case. And do you find this to be a problem in your life? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think it's a problem, but people think, you know, I spend too much time with them. I'm not dating enough. I'm not going out enough. I kind of feel like she's kind of going off on a tangent. This is just about how much time you spend with it. Like, we've all picked up on, like, you having a passion towards it. But for that passion just to take over your entire week's schedule and you not even have time to do stuff yourself or to date or to just go out and be human, that's where the concerning part comes in. So it's pretty ironic how earlier she mentions how she doesn't want to become this crazy ventriloquist lady. But how do you turn it into the crazy ventriloquist? Like, just sitting up there smiling and she she has she has some personal skills to work on. It's okay though, you know, everyone, everyone has their time. And so it doesn't get in the way of possibly dating or friendship. Well, sometimes it does get in the way of dating, but I have to ask myself, do I honestly want to be with those guys if they don't like something about me. Hello, Mr. Q. I'm talking to you. I party all the time. I don't sleep. <laughs> and April, he's single. I was engaged to a guy who, it was either him or the puppet. Ooh, she, ooh, she just, okay, wow, 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 mate, oh, wow, not me, not me, that's the puppet. Don't say that. April's really starting to get real. I like that. Okay, we're learning. We're learning. She was engaged at one time, and it got to a point where it was either her or the puppet. Toss that little rag out the window. It's, Anyways, did you guys notice like how just awkwardly she stares at these men, you know, like as she's, you know, performing or whatever? This is why I mentioned how she might lack some sort of like a social, you know, social boundary to where she doesn't really know how to communicate well with actual people. So she uses the excuse or literally uses the puppet to kind of talk the way she would want to talk to you directly but is somewhat scared to do so. Because obviously, if you're just talking to the person directly, it's gonna seem more realistic. It would seem like 
this person means it. But no, if the puppet's saying it, it's the puppet saying it. It's not real. <laughs> the puppet's not real, so there's just a lot we have to juggle. Wow. Also, this therapist looks boring, but that's for another day. I'm so glad I gave him up instead because he wanted me to change who I was. Mm -hmm. I am so glad I didn't. Oh wow. You you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything. So when you're out in public, are there any negative reactions towards me? One time I was doing a trade show performance and a guy tried to have me arrested and I actually really got into it with him. Sometimes it's like I just finished talking about I'm smart. So again, she is using the puppet kind of as like that middleman to really express how she truly feels because she looks like a nice girl, I'm not gonna lie. But to not be direct with another human being, just using a puppet, I like, I don't think anybody would still ever take you seriously. So it's crazy how she has these genuine feelings, like she doesn't seem crazy when she don't got the puppet. <laughs> but no, like to be honest, she seems fine. She just might have this, you know, social anxiety or it may be something to where she is really held back when it comes to approaching other people. But again, you know, you pull the puppet out and just her real feelings spill out. So this therapy session kind of does work because hopefully we can get to a point where she can cut that tie. Not that she has to stop using the puppet. Again, she clearly loves this, but she can always speak up for herself. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm helping. I'm not helping, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. These different puppets and these different personalities contain her emotion and they possibly are containing her anger, um, sadness. So I'm just the concern that maybe you lean on them a little bit too much. Maybe we can look at and explore other ways to express yourself. Yoga, music, you know, something like that. I love to run. Okay, we'll start running. Run up a hill, a mountain, a space, oh no. So it's nice to see that she's actually getting help in this, you know, space but like considering i know the reason why she kind of does have to use the puppet it makes sense what i still want to talk to a puppet N no the f is it gonna say to me like what if it just poke you by accident and she wouldn't even move in the hand you never know some things possessed i feel the therapy session went well i learned some things about myself i don't see any reason to put the puppets aside or to spend any less time with them if anything, I'm spending as much time with my children as possible. That's gonna be it for today's video. I'm so glad that April really got a chance to just talk, you know, just talk it out. Talking really helps, it does. Have you guys ever witnessed like somebody actually use those things in real life? I feel like the only time I've ever seen like a real ventriloquist was like at a circus. And I was probably like seven or something. I don't know, I was scared anyway, so it didn't matter. Again, if you guys enjoyed this video by any chance, please make sure to drop a like, drop a comment. Also make sure to subscribe if you're new. And again, as always, you can follow my social media if you don't wanna miss out when I'm not here. Besides that, that's gonna be it. But before I leave again, I do wanna just thank you guys real quick. Uh, this past Last week you guys have shown me so much unconditional love and I could have never imagined it a day in my life. Like I truly feel so so good coming back and even just making this video alone and just being in this space and just how much more comfortable and open I could be like it just it shows and I could just truly be 100% you know my authentic self and I just I couldn't thank you guys enough so I appreciate it. I love you guys to death. Like truly, you guys literally have saved my life. And I'll see you guys in the next upload. We'll be super soon though, so don't, you know, you don't gotta be like, oh, 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 cause someone's gonna complain. Until my next video, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.